I noticed a number of aphids feeding on our okra last week when I was harvesting. Aphids are small, soft-bodied insects that feed on a variety of plants in the landscape, from vegetables to trees. They have a pear-shaped body. Uh, they're often yellow or green, but some aphid species can be red, brown, or even uh, black. Aphids produce a sticky substance called honeydew that can collect on the leaves. This honeydew attracts a fungus called sooty mold. Now the sooty mold doesn't cause any problems to the plant, but it can be rather unsightly on your ornamental plants. You also find ants associated with aphids. Aphids and ants have a mutualistic relationship, which means that each species benefits from the other. In this case, the ants provide protection for the aphids, and the aphids give the ants a nice meal of honeydew. Aphid populations can nearly explode overnight, but luckily there's a number of natural enemies that feed on the aphids and keep their numbers in check. Lady beetles are the most common of these. There's also a fly larvae that feed on aphids. This is the hoverfly or flower fly. Uh, another predator of insects is actually a small wasp called a parasitoid. The wasp lays its eggs inside the aphids and the developing larvae kill it. You could find evidence of parasitoids in these small aphid mummies. They're basically plumped up and hollowed out aphid shells. Now when natural enemies fail to do a sufficient job at keeping, natural, uh, keeping aphid populations in check, there's a variety of environmentally friendly materials that can be used to manage the aphids. Simply spraying the plants with a heavy stream of water literally washes the aphids right off the plant. Sometimes after a heavy rain, you might see the same effect. You can also spray the plants with a variety of solutions. A simple mixture of one and a half teaspoons of dish soap with one quart of water can be used to spray the plants. You want to make sure that you cover both the tops and the undersides of the leaves to get good coverage because the aphid has to come in contact with the solution for it to work. Now any dish soap will work. I use Dawn because it's biodegradable and it doesn't contain phosphates which can harm the environment. There are also a number of insecticidal soaps and oils such as neem oil available at garden centers that also do a great job at controlling aphids. Before you use any of these products, you want to check the labels to make sure they're compatible with the plant that you're treating. Now you don't want to use oils or soaps, including dish soap, when plants are water stressed or if the temperature exceeds 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Plants can tolerate a large population of aphids, so you only want to treat if the plants are showing signs of damage. This would include wilting, yellowing, or curled leaves, as well as uh, stunted shoots. You may also want to treat if sooty mold is a problem.